My people, my people, it is time once again for another episode here on the channel and we have some other important matters to discuss. I know this is annoying, but I gotta do my job sometimes here. Hey, if you guys enjoy what you see here on the channel, be sure to subscribe. As you guys can see, we're sitting at 20.5% subscribed who watch my channel. It's getting lower and lower. I don't know if that's a good thing, bad thing, hey. But yeah, subscribe if you guys have been enjoying it. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, while we're here, be sure you guys are using code Ray in the Brawl Stars shop. I would greatly appreciate that as well. I definitely don't do this enough. Believe it or not, I'm doing this here today because my mother, of all things, has been telling me to do this more often. Isn't that crazy? My mom. Hey, if you don't want to do it for me, do it for my mom, okay? <laughs> So we've got something very, very important to talk about here in this episode today, and it seems to be kind of a reoccurring issue now inside of Brawl Stars, and it stems back, I think, you know, it probably stems back further than this, but we're seeing the same situation that we saw with the last big challenge inside of Brawl Stars, and that was the free Mega Box challenge two months ago. Admittedly, I think the situation was a bit worse for that one, but it's still present during this one here today. And we are, of course, talking about the John C challenge here ladies and gentlemen I don't necessarily know how long this episode is going to be or anything like that but whenever it comes to stuff like this I normally like to talk about the things that I find important when it comes to the general community inside of Brawl Stars so that's why we're talking about it here the John Cena challenge upon release was met with the same exact issues that the Mega Box challenge ended up having so much of an issue that the Brawl Stars dev team is offering compensation for the ordeal which again does doesn't happen very often. We do get compensations from time to time, but normally it's met with a pretty serious issue, right? To try to tamper down some of the emotions out there inside the Brawl community, right? But as for a little recap as to what this reoccurring issue is, we take a look back at the example for the Mega Box challenge here. We actually, during this episode, tuned in with a live Bentum 1, my homie, my BFF, best friends forever, love this guy. If you didn't know, childhood friend. We went to the same elementary school, if you guys didn't know that. He's been my homie day one. But the issue itself stemmed from the matchmaking. The matchmaking in the Mega Box Challenge was atrocious. Absolutely awful. Definitely during the first day and even into the second day of the challenge itself. We were watching Ben try to queue into matches, I think like, yeah, on his sixth win of the challenge and he couldn't get in for like what seemed like at least like chunks of eight minutes, right? Which is definitely a bad player's experience. It was even getting into like really expiratorial. Is that the word? I'm not sure. But getting into those realms of like trying to fiddle with different comps and it seemed to work sometimes where if you went into a team comp of all rare brawlers, sometimes it would work for a while. If you queued in with a Piper on your team comp, it would work. It was so bizarre. But once again, using Ben as an example here, what went down during the John Cena challenge, the same exact thing happened from the Mega Box challenge. I found this great example in Ben's live stream a few days ago. Now at the point that I'm recording this video. He was at five wins, kind of similarly where we were at in that Mega Box challenge, but he sat here in this matchmaking around 13 minutes, I believe. Yeah, dude, I'm still going back. It starts at like 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. 12 minutes and 30 seconds in this matchmaking at five wins. He still has 10 more to go. And we fast forward all the way to 18, the beginning of 19 minutes, dude. 12 minutes, 30 seconds to 19 minutes to get into a match. I just had to do it on my fingers. Seven minutes sitting in matchmaking. Guys, those matchmaking cues are literally like rank 35 matchmaking cues. It's not something that you should be having in a challenge that I feel like was pretty dang important to Brawl Stars, right? Just the player experience in and of itself for those long matchmaking cues is really, really bad. It's not great. So in general, I don't know if this was as big of a deal as the Mega Box challenge just because I don't see as much public outcry. I do see a, some public outcry. That's for dang sure. It's the only reason why I caught up on something like this. Normally, if something's important, it's because I find it out or hear things from you guys, right? But I got a feeling a lot of that had to do with the challenge itself, right? What the challenge stood for. Being able to get a free mega box in the last challenge was pretty dang hype and caused a lot of traction to it. And taking a look at the rewards for this challenge, it's not as hype as that, seeing that we get, you know, free crusty cash. That's not too shabby. And then a player 
icon. So it's not like a mega box challenge or anything like that. But it's something, you know, hey, something that people are excited for. Free's always good. But it was definitely big enough to warrant an explanation from Brawl Stars over here on social platforms. We can see a tweet just from this morning at the point that I'm recording this video 11 hours ago regarding the matchmaking issues in the challenge. Ooh, baby. We can see them say, unfortunately, we couldn't apply any quick fixes to it, but things should be working normally now. As compensation for the poor experience, we'll offer everyone 1,000 free crusty cash in the shop. We are sorry for that, and we'll focus on fixing the challenge matchmaking in future updates. So dude, A, the track record ain't that great with challenges in Brawl Stars, and it all stems back to the situation when Brawl Stars got insanely popular once again. The foot traffic in Brawl Stars nowadays is too much for the servers to handle. And it's a shame if you ask me, it's not that bad to get free rewards like this. I mean, come on. If you took a look at the John Cena challenge, I believe we got more free crusty cash from the compensation or like a little bit less. I'm not sure, but almost the same amount as the challenge itself in compensation. I mean, that's pretty crazy. But this issue with the servers has now been an ongoing thing for the past like three updates. I feel like even so much so it would impact the hypercharge challenges back in the day. The really great challenges that we had whenever a new update came out to get a free hypercharge. Now, I don't know if that's the exact reason as to why they ended up stopping that free hypercharge challenge, but I'm guessing it had something to do with it, seeing that every single time a new hypercharge challenge came out to hype up the update, right? Everyone played it because of the increased foot traffic. No one could really participate in the challenge itself, making for an overall bad experience. And now where we're at in the game, we can't get that free hypercharge, right? So it stinks to see this being a recurring issue, not only for the fact that it's kind of putting a damper on the events that come out themselves, right? These hype challenges, being able to free, get a free mega box, being able to get a free player icon for the John Cena challenge. But it also makes me worry that if this is a continuing issue, that it might kind of stop these things altogether, much like we possibly saw for the main reason for the hypercharged challenges, right? Like, it's hard to say it's not an issue, kind of diving now into what the community is having to say about the issue with the John John Cena challenge when in the last episode that I posted on this channel I didn't even mention the John Cena challenge or any issues with it but one of the top comments on this channel and honestly the reason I even heard of this in the first place was here 23 hours ago we have Otis the goat saying the John Cena challenge matchmaking and it got 500 likes on a video that had nothing to do with the John Cena challenge so it has to be something important to the community right just kind of going through some of the feedback over here in the community about the John Cena challenge. Oh, this guy playing Mario because the challenge does not work. Thanks, Supercell. Oh, sheesh. Thought it was just me. Charge your phone. Oh, looks like I'm not the only one getting that treatment. <laughs> we got this one here. John Cena challenge for real. 172 upvotes, 13 comments. It's cooked. <laughs> yep, same here. Does it ever load? Same, I logged seven times and relaunched nothing. Does this happen in the second map? First level keeps loading. Sigh. Looks like pretty much so everyone or a large majority of the population had to deal with some long matchmaking cues for this challenge. I even saw this one and it was hilarious. I didn't even know this could be impossible. This event is so bugged. I somehow joined two matches at once. What the heck? <laughs> Have you ever seen something like this ever? This weasel guy, I guess, said that he was queued into the top match, but at the same time, he had a bot playing in a match at the same exact time for that second one where Morris was the star player. I was replaced by a bot on the bottom. Crazy, and he got two wins. I call that an absolute dub, bro. That's crazy. You can't see it, I'm just, oh yeah, I guess you can a little bit. Well, I can't join any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy nailed out two games at once. <laughs> what a beast. But you guys get the picture. It seems like once again, this was kind of an issue with challenges. It's just another example of Brawl Stars suffering from success, right? It feels like all of these really hype things are putting a damper on, right? Whenever they come out, something happens that yes they're hype but then it's like kind of a little tick in the armor a kitch in the armor whatever you want to call it kitch is not a word but i'm trying my best 
I don't know. You guys should let me know what you guys are thinking about all of this. It'd be nice to see a challenge not being like dampered down by matchmaking issues and stuff like that. And I hope this isn't a reoccurring issue. It'd be nice if servers could get a buff for things like this and for future instances, right? For fun events, much like the Hypercharge Unleash challenge, if that had anything to do with what's going on here, its removal, it's a real shame. And if it really puts a damper on future aspirations for cool events like that if they know that something like this could be an issue and that kind of makes it an unfavorable idea that's also a shame so it's kind of sad you know it'd be cool if this would shape up but yeah i guess in closing seeing that this was really all i wanted to talk about in this episode today it is cool that we have a dev team that compensates reimburses i feel like the dev team always is so dang good to the community man it's amazing just getting a thousand crusty cash for some long queue times it's awesome right hey free is always good i think I think we can all agree with that we love the motto here on the channel but yeah everyone i would love to hear what you guys have to say whenever it comes to these types of videos you know i always just try to make them whenever it's something i feel like is important inside the community so we try to touch on things give my two cents recap events all that good stuff and yeah hopefully things are addressed and done for future updates so things like this don't get put in a damper on for fun things like this in the future but yeah man thank you guys for stopping by hanging out with your boy i always appreciate you guys so so much and yeah, we'll be talking super soon. Adios and take care.